Brexit is an opportunity in itself. And the choice is clear. We put up wages. We back our superb armed forces around the world. A country that leads the way with clean green technology and reducing the greenhouse gases that cause climate change. A country that is happy and confident about its future. We always have the courage as a country to be original, to do things differently. And now we are about to take another giant step, to do something no one thought we could do. Let's get Brexit done. That is the vision for the country we love. As a long-standing Eurosceptic, I'm really pleased with the deal that the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has achieved with the European Union. The backstop has been abolished, and it's been replaced with a system where the United Kingdom will be its own single customs entity. We will be able to make free trade deals. We will be in charge of our own laws. And there is no backdoor way of EU law continuing to affect us. Now, special arrangements have been made for Northern Ireland for two reasons. One, the obvious one, that Northern Ireland has a land border with the European Union. That is the only United Kingdom land border with the EU. And arrangements needed to be made to deal with that. But the second and perhaps more pressing reason is the peace process in Northern Ireland and the recognition that there are two very separate communities in Northern Ireland. And therefore, there are sensitivities there that there aren't in the rest of the country. What this deal has achieved is that Northern Ireland will be in the same customs block as the United Kingdom, full stop, unquestionably. It will still be an integral part, as it is, of the United Kingdom. But it will also have an easier trading relationship with the rest of um, the European Union, subject, crucially, to the consent of the people of Northern Ireland. And this is surely right, because the result of a major democratic exercise, that is to say the referendum, will continue to be determined democratically. Northern Ireland's people and politicians will be able to choose whether to remain in alignment with the EU or not. Regardless of what it chooses, it will remain part of the United Kingdom and in our economic, political and customs system. So it's a good deal for everybody. In my view, this Prime Minister has shown that he can be trusted. He's shown that he can be trusted in the details of the deal and in the political declaration. The political declaration moves towards a free trade agreement, a comprehensive free trade agreement, better than Canada, but for ease of reference, like Canada. Once again, that means we will be an ordinary third country in relation to the European Union. We won't be tied to their ways or tied to their standards we will be able to do things for ourselves. This reflects the result of the referendum. The freedom that the British people craved, demanded, voted for, will become a reality. And the transition period will end on the 31st of December 2020. I'm happy to recommend this deal with real enthusiasm, because I think it is a triumph of negotiating, which everyone told the Prime Minister was impossible. Yet in 85 days, he has reopened the withdrawal agreement, unpicked it, got rid of the undemocratic backstop and ensured the freedom of the United Kingdom.